The Move tool is located right here in the Tools menu. You press V in order to get to it. V for Move. If you hit uh, Alt, you are able to duplicate the layers that you're using. Here, let's zoom out a little bit right here. There we go. Uh, if you are starting to move it and you hit Shift, it constrains it in place. You'll notice I'm only able to move this up and down, or I'm only able to move it horizontal, or I'm only able to move it diagonal. So that's Shift right there. Let's give this a different color background just so we can really see what's going on in these layers. And uh, for the most part, I don't really hit Control with this because that really doesn't do quite as much. The other thing that you could do with the uh, Move tool is I told you Shift constrains. Uh, shift constrains if first you click and then you hit shift. However, if you hit shift first and then you click, oops, you can actually select multiple layers at once. So notice in my layers palette, because I was holding down shift, I could click multiple layers at once. What else can you do with the move tool? If you right click, and let's say you have multiple layers on top of each other, so here we go, three layers on top of each other. If I can right, if I right click, I can choose which one of these layers I want to move. Uh, now, going up in the options bar, the auto select checkbox is very important. If it's unselected, you'll only move the layer that is already selected. But if you check the auto select box, so now it's selected, it'll automatically jump to the layer that you want it to be on. Or let's say you have some groups, so let's just group these together right there with a quick control G. If I move this to groups, then it will automatically select the group that I'm on top of. So if this is on layers, it goes like this. And if it's on group, it goes like this. The other thing inside of the options bar are the ability to position things right here. So I can say position things to the top. I can say position things to the left. You get the idea. Feel free to hover your mouse over it and it will show you exactly what it is. Align to the bottom edges, all of that. These over here only work if you have three or more selected. So here we go. You'll notice that these are highlighted now. This will align things so they all center up. These will play with them. They're great. Um, you can make it so it aligns evenly. It's just different ways of distributing things right there. The one last thing that you can do with the Move tool, you'll notice is in the dialogs over here, is in CS6 also 3D modes are put in here. So if I go over to 3D, say New Mesh from Layer, Postcard, and it turns it into a fast fancy little postcard. It automatically jumps to various 3D options, and now you notice that all the 3D modes are up here, so I can do things such as rotate it around. If I were to move to this, I could rotate it, move it around in 3D space. Um, you can just do all sorts of things with 3D right here, but that gets a little bit more involved with um, that gets a little bit more involved with all of the 3D options. Uh, for now, that's really more than enough with the Move tool. Notice that if I select this layer, we immediately jump back into 3D mode, and I really need to go into the Layer panel to get back into the Normal mode again. All right, so the Move tool. Um, Alt allows you to duplicate, Shift constrains, or if you press it first, allows you to click multiple layers. This checkbox is really important, and you can align all sorts of things over here. Also, if you say Show Transform Controls, instead of having to press Control T, these are always on. So you can do things such as pressing uh, Control, Alt, and Shift with these. So Control allows you to do the corners. Uh, Shift allows you to constrain proportions. So here, let's uh, go to, an, I'm going to hit Enter, go to another layer. Shift allows me to constrain proportions and Alt allows it to make it so it's always centered from the middle. There's all sorts of other things you can do with the control panel, but you know what? That's enough of the Move tool for now. So Move tool, V, it's great. It's the most crucial tool in Photoshop, and that's what you need to know about that.